Hello, welcome to your educational program of the week, Mental Health Monday. I'm Daisy and I'm here to talk to you today about your Mental Health Monday educational program of the week. Today we're talking about bipolar disorder. What is bipolar disorder, you might ask? <clears throat> well, bipolar disorder is a disorder that can be characterized by extreme mood swings. It could include mania, over overexcitement, unrealistic things, optimism. It's like being up, being down, being around, and being back before you even knew it even happened. There's over 5.7 million American adults diagnosed with bipolar disorder in this whole entire world. And it's so crazy because bipolar disorder, it doesn't always have to be with going up and down. It could be depressive. It could be somebody who experiences being on top of the whole entire world and then two seconds later being the most depressed they've ever felt before. Bipolar disorder is not something to take lightly and a lot of people don't even know that they have it. Most people don't know that they are diagnosed with bipolar disorder until they go into the doctor for something else. Maybe depression, maybe anxiety, maybe anything else. What are the 10 things that characterize bipolar disorder you might ask? Well, let's just go down the line. Number one, great mood. See, you can have a good mood when you're on bipolar disorder, but slowly coming in second, inability to complete tests. Third is depression. Fourth, irritability. Fifth, rapid speech. Sixth, trouble at work. Seven, alcohol and drug abuse. Eight, erratic behavior. Nine, sleep problems. And 10, racing thoughts. See, all of these things are signs of bipolar disorder. It could be one thing or it could be another thing. And bipolar disorder could be genetic too. What is happening during the brain in bipolar disorder, you might ask? It's kind of funny because bipolar disorder is partly caused by a chemical imbalance in your brain, but it also has to do with your neurotransmitters not working together. And um, these chemicals are constantly linked to psychotic other mood disorders. And, and doctors believe that chemical messengers in your brain control your body's mental and um, physical functions. Um, you know, a lot of times people feel like they can't connect with anyone else who has bipolar disorder because they feel like there's nobody else out there who has it. Well, here's somebody famous who does. That's right, Demi Lovato. She is one of the top women's advocates for bipolar disorder in America and even the world. She writes um, articles, she stands up for rallies, does conferences. And, she didn't, and Demi Lovato didn't even know she was bipolar until 2010 when she entered a rehab facility for intense depression and suicidal thoughts. And then days later, they treated her with a bipolar disorder and she said she had no idea. And now that she's in a good place, she could be an advocate for all of these people. You know, people might not feel like there's a treatment for them out there, but there is. There's a treatment for everyone out there. And a couple of the different treatments first have to start with a combination of two things, um, a mood stabilizing drug and a psychotic drug. Those two things will help balance your, your brain chemicals and it doesn't happen overnight. That happens over weeks, over years, and sometimes you might have to change medications. You can do magnetic stimulation, you can do light therapy. There's so many different things. So anyone out there with bipolar disorder, I just wanted to let you know that there is hope for you and for anyone else, you know, at least we all can be educated now on what it is. So, you know, if you're feeling these intense mood swings and you're up and you're down, maybe it's time to go to the doctor. There's no problem in that. Thanks for tuning in. This is Mental Health Monday with Daisy. Have a great week.